the Walter model of dividend valuation. Walter says that the market price of shares of a company equals the dividends earned by the shareholders plus the return on investments of the projects divided by the cost of equity into the excess of earnings over dividends, the whole discounted using the cost of equity. The excess of earnings over the dividends paid which represents the retained earnings in the business are reinvested by the company at the rate of return of its projects. We can find out the present value of this excess returns which are reinvested by discounting it using the cost of equity in each year. These returns continue till infinity. When we take R into E minus D common out of this equation, we find that the remaining portion of the equation is representing an infinite series geometric progression. We know that the sum of an infinite series progression is A by 1 minus R. When we solve our equation using the above logic, we arrive at r into e minus d by ke, which is our second part of the numerator. The total earnings of our shareholders equals to the dividends he earns in each year and the present value of this excess returns which are reinvested. This total earnings of the shareholders is earned by him in each year until infinity. Applying the concepts of geometric progression once again, we are able to arrive at the formula proposed by Walter to value the market price of shares. Walter says that when the rate of return of projects exceeds the cost of equity, no dividend should be paid. When the rate is equal to the cost of equity, the dividends are an indifferent decision. And where the rate is less than the cost of equity, it is better to pay out 100%. This is because retaining is not giving any benefit to the shareholders.